Hey, I'm up a little bit early this morning working on my dump trailer. And I just wanted to show you something. Uh, ever since we've lived at this house here for about three or four years, we've been, uh, I've been parking this dump trailer kind of in this old barn foundation that's down at the bottom of my property. It's just kind of out of the way. Um, it's got a concrete floor. Uh, there's no roof, but it was uh, better than nothing. The only problem with that is we've got a bunch of trees down there. I can't show it to you right now, it's dark out, but a bunch of trees down there and it's just a haven for uh, field mice, um, chipmunks, and all these vermin. Uh, and they've just completely ruined my wiring. And the reason I found this out is I uh, started uh, charging my dump trailer battery and uh, my wires started melting. So we had a short to ground. Uh, I quickly found that uh, a lot of these wires were stripped. They've been eating the uh, insulation off of them. I mean, you can see kind of this stuff right here. I mean, that's just a small example of what they did. And then that caused more damage when I tried to use it and uh, it would uh, melt all the insulation off. And then you can see, I pulled all this. They made themselves a nice nest right up in here. Oh, sorry, I guess you can't see that, but uh, that's basically where my, uh, they made a whole, they made a nest right up inside this channel of steel here, right where all the wires go. So that's great. So. Uh, word to the wise, if you're storing your dump trailer outdoors in a more nature-like area, <laughs> uh, it would be a good idea to maybe try to seal up. Uh, I mean, this tra trailer right here, it's a SureTrack 7x14. Um, it's a well-built trailer, but it's it just got these uh, rubber grommets here, which would work in most situations. Uh, but apparently, the vermin like to get up inside here and make a nice little nest for themselves. And, I can see why it was uh, probably a good home for them the last couple of years. Uh, ever since I uh, quit running my own business, this trailer gets used a lot less often. So that just creates issues for me. So we're gonna rewire this trailer. I've got the wire coming. Um, gonna do a couple things to make the uh, trailer battery uh, charge on its own. Uh, we're going to get a new breakaway on it, um, and then uh, possibly, I'm not even sure what we got here on the back, if we got LEDs or regular old uh, incandescents, looks like that one's an old one, so we'll probably get some new fixtures and just update it a little bit. Um, I might consider uh, doing something that's a little brighter for a backup light too, uh, because it seems... Uh, like when I use this trailer, it's a lot of times when it's dark out. Just because I don't use it in the business anymore, I'm gonna be using it on off hours. It just tends to be early in the morning or late in the evening. So, and we need to clean it up a little bit. You can see just sitting under those trees and stuff, we got a little bit of algae growing, just a little bit crusty. So I'll keep you guys updated. We'll get it all, uh, We'll get it all uh, fixed up here. I had a friend rent this uh, trailer here last weekend and um, it was helpful to him because he could dump his brush, but uh, he needs lights. <laughs> so we'll get that fixed up. Thank you guys, bye.